Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be talking about the possibility of getting Hood Toggle with Knights of the Eternal Throne. Now Hood Toggle is one of those things that the community has been screaming for from the devs for a very long time and it's not a very big thing, obviously group content and other stuff is something that's a lot more pressing but it's one of those small quality of life improvements, as Bioware calls it, that people have been wanting and Bioware makes these changes all the time. Even with major updates like Knights of the Fallen Empire, we saw numerous quality of life improvements and now with Knights of the Eternal Throne, we are expecting some sort of improvements to the overall gameplay and just um, the ease of access and things like that. Uh, for example, with patch 4.7, we saw the new pack opening experience, so that was a kind of like a quality of life improvement for people who enjoyed opening cartel packs. In the same way, I'm really hoping uh, Hood Toggle is just one of those small things that Bioware is going to throw in with Knights of the Eternal Throne. I think it's going to make a lot of the people in the community happier because there are tons of really nice armor sets that people enjoy using, but some people just don't like the hood at all and they just want to be able to either have their, uh, their character's face visible or maybe have another helmet that won't be covered by a hood. So Bioware makes these changes all the time and I'm hoping that this is one of those changes they're going to make with Knights of the Eternal Throne. But aside from just that blind faith, there actually is some evidence to maybe provide some hope or to allow for some speculation in terms of whether we're actually going to get Hood Toggle with Knights of the Eternal Throne. Recently Bioware released a trailer. Now this was a small little snippet of a cinematic which I think might be in chapter 1 of Knights of the Eternal Throne. And in this cinematic, Valkorion is kind of just showing the Outlander visions and stuff of what's going on. And what you guys might notice is the actual character, whoever the dev is playing, has a Jedi survivalist gear on. Now this is a uh, armor set that's going to be released from the new Eternal Command Pack coming out with Knights of the Eternal Throne. And so I guess I just wanted to kind of show off that armor. And um, But one important thing is, as you guys can see from the data mine information, the armor does have a hood. It's quite a definitive hood, but in the actual cinematic or the snippet of the cutscene, the character does not have a hood on. So could this potentially indicate hood toggle? I think that's actually a possibility. One of the reasons I think that is, uh, right now, in the current game, if your character has a hood on, that hood does not get put down for your cinematic. That hood stays on your head, so your character's face is covered. And, um, and the reason that's significant is because, let's say for example, your character has a helmet. Well, in I'd say like maybe 95% of the cinematics, your character keeps their helmet on. But for a certain 5%, if something's, or some sort of cinematic or cutscene is really important to the story, the game automatically takes your helmet off, so your character's head is visible. But, if your character has a hood on, that will stay on for 100% of the cinematics right now. So it doesn't really make sense that in this cutscene, the character's hood is down when it's supposed to be up as seen from the data mind image. Uh, the real, a real plausible explanation could be that we have, we are getting hood toggle as a new feature with Knights of the Eternal Throne and this particular character in the cutscene has their hood toggle off. The other possibility as I mentioned could just be that for now certain cutscenes Bioware has decided that they're also gonna uh, automatically take your hood down but in the actual game you, you are forced to have your hood up. So that would be unfortunate but I do think it's a possibility. I think this cinematic and this little bit of evidence is actually pointing to the fact that we might actually be getting hood toggle. Now when I'm watching these cinematics and stuff I normally don't focus on the details so a huge thank you to Kyle Lynch. He was one of the commenters on my Valkorian cinematic video where I just put up the 45 second teaser trailer and he was the one who actually brought this to my attention, noticing that the character had this Jedi survivalist gear on, but the hood was not actually up. And so a huge thank you to him, he's the one who pointed this out, and basically I wouldn't have been able to speculate this without that comment. Anyways, that kind of ends the video. I'll keep it really short because there's nothing else to say, really. I just kind of hope that Bioware is going to make this change. I think it's going to make a large portion of the community a lot happier because uh, people are really happy when they're able to customize their characters the way they want. You know, they shouldn't be forced to have a hood up if they don't want it. There are tons of really nice armor sets, including this Jedi Survivalist armor set, that I think would be actually a lot nicer without a hood. And so it would be nice to have that option. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.